In the Sea of Cortez, or Gulf of California, between mainland Mexico and the Baja Peninsula, lie the five large and numerous smaller islands encompassed within the Parque Nacional Bahia de Loreto. This park was established in 1996 with the purpose of nature conservation. In 2005, it was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site, an area selected by the United Nations as having cultural, historical, scientific, or other significance. In this video, the first in a series covering all five islands, we'll look at some of the marine animals around Isla Danzante, Dancing or Dancer Island. Honeymoon Cove, made up of several bites on the north end of the island, is the most popular anchorage and destination for day trips, and has a diverse mix of rocky reefs, sandy bottoms, and mangroves. The backdrop of the majestic Sierra de la Quijanta Mountains adds to the island's beauty. As the water in the Sea of Cortez cools in fall and winter, the increase in nutrients carried by upwelling caused by seasonal north winds promotes the growth of sargassum seaweed and other algae, and they cover much of the rocky substrate. When the water temperature rises in late spring and summer, these algae die off and are dispersed, leaving the reefs and rocky areas exposed. Animals that were previously hidden are now more easily seen. Leopard grouper, known locally as Cabria, are very common in the area and throughout the park. A very small portion of the population begins life with this normal coloration, but when juveniles change to a yellow or golden color. This male Mexican hogfish was born female, later underwent a change to male and as an adult will mate with a female. Sandy coves in Honeymoon are home to a surprising variety of animals. These golden trevally search for food along the bottom. Fine spotted jawfish make their homes in the sand and line their burrows with shells and bits of coral for stability. Males sometimes incubate their eggs in their mouths. Here, a curious young triggerfish investigates his neighbor before being given the message to back off. Bullseye electric rays are typically inactive during the day and forage for food at night. If molested, they can deliver a mild electric shock. This Cortez stingray has discovered a partially buried potential mate. After a bit of posturing on his part, she leaves, but he is not easily dissuaded. There is one small area of mangrove trees in Honeyman Cove and these and their unusual roots support a diverse population of animals from birds to fish and invertebrates. The spines, especially the dorsal spines of this well-camouflaged stone scorpion fish, contain a very potent venom. The north end of Isla Donzante is characterized by large boulders, steep drop-offs, currents, and caves. 
The proximity to deeper water often brings larger animals close to shore. A master of camouflage, this two-spotted octopus almost perfectly blends into its surroundings. Moving down to the south end of the island, submarine reef, resembling a submarine when viewed at low tide, is another popular dive area. Currents here, as well as at the north end, are often strong and bring nutrients and plankton to sustain animals like the colonial polyps of these gorgonians and corals. A major predator of these and other corals in the Sea of Cortez is the crown of thorns sea star. The star envelops the coral and digests the polyps, leaving bare, whitened branches. Bradley's sea stars will sometimes shed an arm or two when stressed. The animal will later regrow these arms. Missing arms have been known to regenerate the entire animal. Moray eels are an important animal in the reef environment, and while intimidating looking, are relatively harmless to divers if not molested. We hope you have enjoyed watching this exploration of Isla Danzante. In the next segment, we'll be looking at the largest island in Parque Nacional Bahia de Loreto, Isla del Carmen. If you would like to see more, please subscribe and click on the bell symbol to be notified of future videos. Thanks for watching.